Hey everybody, this is Coach McCreary from Baseball by the Art. Thanks so much for stopping by today for today's video tip. Now, today's video tip is for infielders who are receiving throws, say on steals, uh, maybe pickoffs after the pitch at first base, snap throws down to third base. Anytime there is a throw coming to a base from a catcher or a pitcher, uh, this is a tip for you. Now, what we're gonna be focusing on today is a play where the throw is a horrible throw from usually the catcher. So if I'm a shortstop or second baseman and I'm going to the bag on a steal and that catcher launches one way over my head into the outfield. Now this is a chance for an infielder to do a very, very heads up play. The problem is you have to fight your instincts on this one. Let's first talk about the runner. When a runner is on a straight steal, coming to second base, quite often, he doesn't know where the ball is, okay? He just knows the ball is coming towards second base, but he has no idea whether it's gonna be a good throw or not. And so one of the mistakes that some infielders will make, and it's, it's understandable, because it's instinct, when the infielder positions himself like he should in front of the bag, and if you wanna learn that footwork, then check out that video especially if you're a middle infielder because it'll show you the footwork on how to position yourself to receive a throw from the catcher. But let's just assume that the infielder knows what to do. They position themselves properly in front of the bag and then when the throw is launched way over their head, a lot of middle infielders will make the mistake of lifting up and looking at the throw or even giving a half attempt to jump, even though they realize there's no way I'm catching this ball. It's either way over my head, or it slipped out of the catcher's hand and went way this way, or way this way. There's no way I'm catching this ball. But the infielder acts as if they can. So if I'm a base runner and I'm running towards second base, and the infielder is set up and I see him jump way up in the air, I know where the ball is. I know that, hey, there's a good chance this ball's going to the outfield and I can do a pop-up slide and be ready to go to go to third base. Same thing applies if the ball slips and goes this way and the infielder first movement is to go this way. I now know where the ball is and I have a much better chance to get up and just keep on running to third base. So here's the heads up play. It takes some practice. It's not an easy one, folks, and it usually is uh, resigned to older players who have this mental ability to think ahead here and not react based on instinct. So this is something I love to do, uh, and it really can fool runners, but there's a right way and a wrong way. If I am positioned or I'm getting to the bag and I see that catcher airmail air mail one way over my head, I want to resist the temptation of lifting up, looking at the ball, because I want the runner to think that the ball is gonna be right here. And so what you do is you set up at the base as if the ball is coming right here. So even though the ball is 20 feet over my head, I still stay just like this. And I'm just in a position where the runner thinks I am about to receive the ball. Now, here's a warning for infielders. Rule says that I am not allowed to fake a tag, okay? I am not allowed to pretend that the ball hits my glove and then reach down and try to get that runner to slide and pretend that I'm tagging him out. That is illegal because that can be dangerous. Anytime you force that runner to slide by pretending to have the ball, that can put him in a dangerous situation. So that is a no-no. However, setting up in front of the bag, whether I'm a second baseman or a shortstop or even a third baseman on a snap throw to third base, if I get to the bag and just set up as if the ball is coming, many times that runner is going to slide. And if the ball does go in the outfield, chances are he's not gonna know it. And it's gonna take him too long to get up, figure out where the ball is, and be able to get to the next base. So if you're gonna do this, you have to resist the temptation of looking up or moving. Stay still, just keep your glove up, and that runner probably is going to slide. Now, another warning here for infielders, you cannot straddle the bag when you're doing this because if you stay here and that runner slides in and that coach says, come on, come on, come on, come on, and that uh, runner runs into you on his way to go to third base, you are at fault. You cannot be in the runner's way 
uh, if you do not have the ball. So that's why you need to be in front of the bag. You give that runner space to slide and you also give that runner space to get up and attempt to go to third base if he does want to, okay? So it is a tougher play. You have to resist that urge to go for the ball on a really bad throw. Of course, if the throw is a little bit offline, then of course you go for the ball because you have a chance to catch it and make the tag. So I'm only talking about balls that are so far away from you, you have no way of catching it, and so you position yourself as if the ball is a good throw. That gets the runner to slide, and then chances are he's not gonna be able to move up to the next base. It is not a dirty play to do that. You are well within your rights to do that. You just have to take the steps to make sure you're not pretending to tag him and you're not straddling the bag. You're not preventing him or blocking him from going to the next base. If you do that, that's when the umpire is going to uh, make a change in the call there. All right, folks, so that's your tip for today for infielders. Try that, it's a tough one to learn uh, and it really, really takes a heads up player to have the mental wherewithal to do that very quickly and react to the situation at a moment's notice there. So give it a try, I think you'll like it. It does work quite a bit, uh, but of course it's not an easy one to do. All right folks, well, I'm Coach McCurry signing off. Until next time, take care everybody and make sure to check out baseballbytheyard.com every day, tons of free information there in written posts and video posts, all to help players, coaches, and parents learn more about the game of baseball. All right, folks, take care, everybody. Until next time, uh, have a great day, everybody.